So barcode scanning, whether it's a UPC or a SKU, stock keeping unit, or whatever other mechanism that you want to create to allow automated scanning and tracking of an item within your organization is a really cool feature that Smartsheet has. And again, with a Smartsheet app, you can bypass having to have any sort of fancy barcode scanning system or RF scanning system and just use your mobile device, in this case, an Android phone. Um, so why would you want to use that? Well, you know, first thing is inventory management, right? Probably the thing that you're thinking of first and foremost, and it's a great light solution for an organization. Um, it doesn't have a lot of power and capability that an enterprise resource program and ERP system like, you know, SAP or NetSuite would have. However, um, for a small organization or for light you know, inventory management, great solution. Assets also, you know, say you want to barcode scan and keep uh, track of tools or even vehicles um, within a small fleet. You could do the same thing with that. The other thing though, that from a project management perspective is really interesting is you could use it say for prototyping, right? You're building a prototype of something or you're manufacturing a series of trials on something, maybe pharmaceuticals, something of that sort. And you wanna barcode everything um, that you're working on. You could use that barcode scanning management system to very quickly you know, scan in an item uh, without having to you know, do manual data entry, right? And then do an update on the status or a cost um, or if an item fails or makes a series of quality you know, assessments and testing as part of your prototyping program. Um, and you can provide real-time updates to your smart sheet that that's linked to. So we'll go through those different types of action and show you how you can scan in and take pictures of barcodes and update a smart sheet using the smart sheet app. And we're gonna accomplish that by scanning in something really simple. This is a uh, set of uh, four by six index cards from you know, Staples. And uh, I'm going to scan that in and incorporate that into an inventory management sheet and show you a couple different ways again of how we can take photos, scan in UPCs, et cetera, et cetera. So let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, I'm here at my Smartsheet homepage. Before we get started with the demo, one important point, in order for the app on your mobile device to work with Smartsheet um, in your Smartsheet homepage, you have to be a licensed user. And that would go for anybody else who's using their mobile device with the Smartsheet app to scan in barcodes into a sheet in any sort of folder or uh, work center in Smartsheet, they have to be fully licensed. So if you're unsure about that, get with your Smartsheet uh, administrator and make sure that you and anybody else that needs that feature is fully licensed. So again, the Smartsheet app on their mobile device works with Smartsheet in your organization's homepage. So, one thing I'll demonstrate real quick before we get started with the demo is how to find the sheet that we're going to work on today. And it's a really kind of important thing, I think, to know about Smartsheet, which is that you can find templates by going to Create, Browse Templates, and getting to the Solution Center where there's all sorts of different solutions that Smartsheet and the Smartsheet community has given you um, to work with on any solution that you might need to do and not have to spend a lot of time working from scratch. So always a good thing to know. In this case, we're going to find the barcode sheet um, that we want to use by searching for barcode in the Solution Center search feature over here on the left-hand side. And it brings up two different uh, items that we can work with. One is a smart sheet template, which is the sheet itself, which is what we're going to use today. Um, there's also a template set. Uh, you can tell the difference between the two because the sheet is in blue and the template set's in green. Um, this particular one is an asset management template set. So I talked about at the beginning of the video how you might want to use barcode scanning to scan in um, inventory counts on items like vehicles or tools or other sorts of assets. You could use a template set that's already existing to accomplish the same thing, or you could use this inventory management sheet to build out your own solution. Either one is fine. We're gonna go with this one today. Um, and I've already got that actually right here on my splash page. And I'm gonna open it up and there it is. Now, I'm gonna to go to my Android device, which is mirrored out here for you. I'm actually already in the sheet, but we'll back out for a second. We'll go to the main menu. So this is an Android device. Um, the Apple 
interface will be similar. Uh, it'll have the same functionality, it might be a slightly different user interface experience, but you'll get the idea. So this is the main menu. We're going to open up that barcode inventory management sheet. And we're going to go to row 18 on both. And that stack of index cards that had the UPC on it, we're going to scan that in. The first thing I want to do, though, before I scan into the UPC is actually I want to get a copy of the uh, UPC itself by taking a picture of it. So I'm going to go to row 18, and I'm going to hit the little pencil icon to edit the row. And as you can see in this menu, there's a couple different options that we can use. We can scan in the SKU feature, which we'll do here in a minute, uh, barcode image, which we're going to actually do right now. And um, we're going to take a photo of the barcode itself. Let me flip the phone around and go ahead and snap a picture. Decent enough. It'll work for this demonstration. Um, before we save it, I actually want to crop it a little bit so I just get the barcode itself. So And that'll work for now. I'll hit done. I'll save it. And then I'm going to save it again. So now it's going to save to the Smartsheet in my Smartsheet homepage. And as you can see, there's the update right there. There's the image. I can now go back on the app, hit the pencil icon again to edit the row. And now I'm going to put in the SKU information. Now I can enter it manually if I'd like, which I'm not going to because that's going to lead to errors. I'm actually going to go ahead and scan it in using the scan icon. And as you can see, this happens so quick. I can do it again. I'm going to hit the barcode scan icon right here and just literally put my camera lens on the uh, barcode and it's going to scan it in. And I'm going to do a quick check. This is why I like to take the barcode image first, just as a procedural matter. Uh, to make sure that I'm scanning in the right barcode. So 718103273503. Yep, got all the numbers I want. And it matches my barcode image. So my phone, I'm going to hit save. And it'll refresh the smart sheet here at the home page. And there we go. Now the SKU's entered in. Now I can also go back in again and let's say I was out doing like a you know real time inventory. I can click onto it and I can say it's a set of four by six index cards and I've got one of them. Um, I don't know the, I don't know the location or blot bin number right now. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm not reordering. I'm just going to hit save. And again, it's going to populate all that information back on the smart sheet in the smart sheet homepage. So it's saved on my phone and it's updated on the smart sheet. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, now. One other really cool feature that you can do with this is you can scan in the barcode now that it's in the smart sheet and I can search that way. So let's say I had multiple items in a stock room and it was on a smart sheet and I wanted to update the smart sheet. I could scan in each item one at a time using the icon here, the scan bar icon, and I could actually go to the sheet and update it. Now, Here's another important thing to keep in mind is it takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes for any row that you add in from your mobile device to hit the smart sheet homepage and then for the two to sync. So we're actually gonna pause here for a few minutes while these two things link up and we'll come back and then we'll actually show you how you can scan in a barcode and then find it in a smart sheet and then add data that way, which is a really cool feature for like updated an inventory um, count or reorder or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and pause for a minute and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So now 
we're going to go ahead and scan in that barcode on that stack of four by six cards. And I just scanned in the UPC. Now you can see on my phone that it's actually, well, there's two different sheets I have saved. One's an older version, but you can see that that UPC number comes up on the Spark Code Inventory Management sheet. And if I open it up, scroll down to row 18, there's that barcode. There's that image, four by six index cards. There's one. I can now actually go in here. And if I were doing a real-time inventory update, I could say, hey, um, today we did a reorder of five of them, four of them to make a total of five. It was reordered. Um, it's going to auto-populate the date because that's the way the sheet's set up, which is kind of cool. So that's a locked field. I can do reordered by, uh, let's just say I did it. It's my index cards. I'm going to hit save. Okay, there it is. It's saved. Hit refresh. And there it is on my smart sheet. Back at my home page, folder, work area for my team, I've updated that. And so now in real time, I've done an inventory where I've said, hey, this particular SKU index cards. We actually did a reorder today. Let me minimize my mobile device screen. And it was ordered by me at 1.34 p.m. on 11 April, 2022. Um, and I can even say, I'll go back to my phone for a second. We'll bring that screen up. And let's just say um, we did have a lot location this time and I put it in 1A or whatever your bin naming convention might be. Hit save, saving. I always like to hit refresh on my app. And there it is. 1A is now in my lot location. I've got full UPC data. I've got the image. I've got the description, quantity. It's been reordered, all that good stuff. That is the power right there of that barcode scanning feature on the app for your mobile device, whether it's an Apple or an Android. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to use the barcode scanning feature on your smart sheet app on your iPhone or Google Android device like mine and uh, linking it back to your smart sheet homepage and whatever smart sheet you may have. Again, the key to this is that you have to have a full user license in order to make that connectivity. And anybody on your team that is going to use a similar feature on a smart sheet that you're sharing out needs to have a full user license as well. So make sure that if you want to have that functionality in that sheet to do those barcode scanning features that you have that for yourself and your team. If you have any questions at all on uh, anything that I demonstrated today, please feel free to reach out to me at brian at echoconsultingpm.com. Hope you enjoyed this video and go out and have fun with it and uh, create some really cool stuff in Smartsheet on your own. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.